Yeah, but if you have a good crew, it doesn't matter, right? That's Y'all show us the buy games. I never got the touch to it. <laughs> oh, I used to live on my bike. Uh, yeah, uh, with the inner ears problem, I keep falling down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see that. All right, so here we are. We are live with, uh, I think this is session 53, 54. Five three, I think. Um, I know it'll be up on the Twitch channel, and then I'll. I'll like, oh wow! July thirteenth was fifty one, so fifty two. Today's fifty four. Fifty four. Wow. Fifty four. And I still need two hundred XP. <laughs> I've got twenty six. I could loan you some, but. Is I that think a I'm thing? To spend it or something. No, that's no, not a thing. Too. I've never seen a game system that lets you loan someone else your XP. There we go. There's that's an idea cool. for a, we need to write a game where you can loan someone else your experience. Every third <laughs> Isekai manga has that. <laughs> uh, sorry, what was that, Mark? You say Chris invokes a house rule. No, <laughs> although. <laughs> Uh, I have uh, I have played games that allows you to uh, to basically buy things on credit. So if like if you're a couple XP shy of the thing that you want to buy, you're allowed to buy it ahead of time. We're not playing the Don Quixote uh, role playing game. Yeah. <laughs> Lone sharks come after you. I've played a lot of games with a lot of weird XP systems. Literal sharks. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Mm -hmm. All right. So last time, uh, last time you guys uh, faced down this uh, champion of Jakku's, uh, Terra And when and... you say face down, I was face down. <laughs> um, who, uh, thankfully, thanks to uh, thanks to some uh, inside information you guys found out about a couple of weaknesses that it may or may not have had and decided to put them to the test turns out that one of the weaknesses at least was correct and uh, removing the iron spike from her uh, from her armor uh, rendered her inert uh, you did however find that trying to dismantle her or take her weapon uh, was futile the pieces just snapped back together like uh, like Tony Stark putting on his Iron Man armor uh, so you decided while she was inert to kind of like drag her out to the coast and put her in the water in hopes that the uh, the sea monster or the giant octopus would deal with her. Uh, it, it's just a delaying game. Yep. I'm disturbed now, though, to know that those are two separate entities. <laughs> <laughs> the sea monster was not the giant octopus and vice versa. So, yeah, that, stay out of the water. That's a good point. Yeah. What <laughs> That's it. I mean, I did watch all of Skull Island. I could have the giant octopus like throwing whales at you on shore. Uh, that sounds horrific and very messy. We can't oh, fight Skull Island. Island. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> There's apparently a Skull Island game. Either it's done or it's in like Kickstarter mode. I'm not sure. I saw an ad for. I keep seeing ads for it occasionally. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a source book for the uh, everyday heroes modern action movie role playing game, which is fairly solid. And the two source books that are currently out, one of them is for Escape from New York, and one of them is for The Crow, and they're they're decent. Gives you enough to like if you want to run like uh, an Escape from New York game or a Crow game. There's enough information there, so. I, would, I am looking. There's Skull Island, and there's also Pacific Rim, and I'm like, that sounds like Combine them. that sounds like something <laughs> right up my alley. I, I would like a giant so, mech, <laughs> like right now in this game. That, that would be lovely. Yeah, we just chucked one in the ocean. We needed one of those last night in Cthulhu. <laughs> yes, oh did. my god, we need a lot of things in Cthulhu last night. We didn't have any of them. Well, sanity mainly. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully today goes better for you. <laughs> Unless we have a TPK, it would have to. <laughs> uh, but you guys um, so did defeat, uh, or at least temporarily stop 
uh, Terramalda. Uh, Ryzen communed with uh, with his scepter. Found uh, found some information. Uh, found out that uh, Jacuz would not be making this power play if he didn't have the other gems. He hasn't had a chance to reveal his information. Nope. nope. Desi revealed her info. Yeah. But Mark hasn't had that RPB yet. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but you guys are uh, temporarily, at least, it seems to be safe. Uh, still uh, attempting to uh, to get back home. Uh, and uh, and that's where we'll pick things off. So uh, we can pick up with uh, everybody kind of like waking up in the morning. <laughs> well, it's a nice day. I don't have to make them. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if we weren't still here tonight, but. Oh I yeah, I, I, I just mean Another that since we doing. found back the camp that we fled from, I didn't have to build it up. <laughs> huh. uh, what time of the day is it? Uh, it's morning. 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 Okay, good. Uh, everybody, everybody the is awake. Trustees is still awake. Yeah. The plan was Very to try so. to get the schedule back on in order, so we could. <laughs> it's a theory. So, so was I uh, standing guard last night? Uh, no, Trustius has been since he can't sleep. Yeah, we just bundled Kaldi up in his uh, sleeping furs since he was still unconscious. How is everyone's water going? Um, I'm good. I'm D12 food, D6 water. I'm good for both. D10 food, D12 water. Okay, so we, we should be good to move today. And uh, uh, when we... Uh, when we when I set up camp, uh, the next spot we we are camping, somebody could look for water so we could replenish everyone. That'd be nice. We should heal Caldy. Give him a get. chance to carry his own things instead of us dragging. Well, I, I did fix Caldy on his feet. Oh, oh, perfect. perfect. He was at one, but he was on his feet. And since he just slept, he's probably all right. I assume. Does he reach over and poke his sleeping fur? I am here. Still alive? Hey! Hey! How did I talk ourselves out of, out of that? Uh. You you soaked it with your face. Again. Yeah, that's probably not the best idea. It was a good try. The important thing is she's dealt with for now, at least. Uh, the it's hard for me to deal with somebody uh, that can't be bribed. Apparently, you got to put the nail out of its coffin. Oh, I could steal. Here we go. Rest. Goldie, I believe this belongs to you. And Trustius throws the crown at Goldie's feet. Which he picked up last session. You weren't here. But... I'm actually surprised that you would give that back. I believe the key is the scepter. Not the crown. Yeah, the ones in the crown are kind of a pain in the ass. Well, the I agree. So uh, I I learned a little bit last night because uh, I had a chat with uh, 
with the elf in, in the scepter. Oh. How's yours? Because Kaldis are uh, not great people. Um, I've only, I only—I think this is only the second or third time I've ever talked with it. Um, it's a little condescending, but it seems to be okay with uh, with with me and possibly working towards accomplishing stuff for me, depending on what that is. Um, it doesn't have a very good opinion of at least one of the other artifacts, or specifically the the elves within that artifact. Um, uh, so basically, I asked a few questions, the most pertinent of which... Um, uh, let me just organize my thoughts here. Uh, so for whatever reason, from so the scepter does not trust the crown. I don't know if that's ever been conveyed. I don't remember if I ever learned that. Um, the way my my the my gem made it sound is um, once upon a time, um, not all the elves were on the same side. Some serve Jakku's, some very willingly, some albeit less willingly and reluctantly, but they still did. Um, the ones in the crown apparently serve Jakku's, albeit a little bit reluctantly. Um, as such, the scepter does not really trust the crown. Um, I don't know if that's super relevant for dealing with Jakku's, but that's what it told me on that front. Um, I asked about, uh, whether or not we could defeat Jakku's if we had all of the gems and if they were all put in one item, like the crown, uh, the spirit in mind said that if all the gems are together, they could probably, they can deal with Jakku's and quite likely sever his connection to this island. Although it's most likely that Jakku's currently has the other gems in his its possession. Otherwise, Terra Malda or whatever her name is probably would not have been sent after us. That's concerning. And that's about what I learned before I fell asleep. I don't know if I like having this crown anymore. You could uh, give it back. I don't know if I want to give the crown that cancels magic back to the magic user. Back, you know. I mean, part of the crown yeah. is helpful. Part of the crown is... Is not. Stuck in the crown. <laughs> it's like three people. Two of them are... One's a uh, complete piece of work. One's a jerk and the other one is a is a wimp that will do what the other ones tell them but will kind of go behind their back and say sorry the the crown is interesting right go ahead Ryzen. yeah sorry how many gems are in the crown right now two three i think See, Brea oh, is a warrior. I don't Tondra, or you mm -hmm. wish to refer her to. It depends on which I'm talking to. If I'm talking to the one in my sleep, I call her Andra. And if I'm talking to the one on my hip, I call her Brea. Because they're not quite the same. Yeah, regardless, it, would, it chose you because you were a warrior. And you were strong. In theory. And the scepter is a commander. Charismatic. It's Kinda, powerful. Yeah. It sways. So, we don't know much about the other three. Stand. 
Well, there's a bossy person. That bossy person's yes man and uh, put upon servant. That's what I got out of it. What I got out of it was that and Desi kind of like looks up as though she's thinking, trying to remember. Lenardus was Jacuzzi's high priest and didn't want to be part of the ritual. Retora was his sycophant, but sold him out to Fekker, who was a sorcerer who made the ritual. And then Fairy is the one who bound themselves into their armor, not apparently Terramaldus. Uh, and Faylora bound herself in an hourglass. So those are the two that he's got. <clears throat> I don't know what they do, but... Time and armor. Right. Well, yeah. I'm a little worried about the time bit more than the armor, weirdly. But... And I don't know if they had a choice in that. Like, I don't know if they're like Fekker and uh, Lenardus and they're happily going along being servants of Jakku's or if they're trying to fight against him or I don't know anything like that. I haven't. I didn't really press Andra about that part way back when It doesn't matter. We have five gems. We all. need seven. So much. Yes? I don't know about needing, but it would definitely be handy. <laughs> Three in the crown. Uh, Not even potentially difficult. Potentially... Individuals that are not on our right. side. But we have the scepter. But I think and you that's and what I the scepter does. We can bend them if we have to. Think so? I do. But none of this gets us closer to all. Aldi will toss the crown back over to Trestius. This is kind of your domain, not mine. He'll he'll give a nod. Like he's not looking you in the eye, of course, because this Trestius. But I met but, uh, um, he'll he'll nod he in was, a in a uh, thank you me. sort of way. But Pick it, it up, strap I it to his belt. Nothing like getting thanked for a curse. Not my first. Likely not my last. Mm -hmm. Let's get home. How could I? Can you show us the way? Person. We're stopping at that. We're stopping at that village, right? Right? At least to look. Because it seems to me it's like right on the way pretty much it's gonna be only a short detour so up to everybody i mean we might as well yeah we i mean at least put the eyes on it if we can then you expect of it Bryson, if you could dim sing a tune or something just i haven't been sure, sleeping i can sing a tune Perhaps. Raise your spirits. 99 bottles of beer in the wall. 
<laughs> 99 mugs really? of beer. That's the yeah, song. One, uh, you passed around. While we're drinking poison or eating poisonous mushrooms for breakfast. The mushrooms are not poisonous. They've been cooked They've been or prepared. prepared. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of, though, everybody can roll their food and water. <laughs> uh, water. I'm, I'm Thanks, trusting Anita. you. I'm trusting you to cook these right. Uh, because if you don't... Oh, God, I lost both. <clears throat> if I'm having you don't, a hard time getting the foundry. I'm, I'm not going to be able to protect you. So that's my... I have faith that you still want me to be your sword arm. <laughs> Should be a uh, the the pin to link up at the the top of the general chat. Should work for you to join. And Chris, I don't have yeah, um, any details yeah, on that card, right. so can you add that to my sheet? And you have a sec. So I got food D10 and water D8. I finally got in. And a pair of threes. Not bad. May have to do up an item for it. I mean, as long as it doesn't weigh more, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. I don't think we ever figured out what it did. Blocks magic. That's what it does. I mean, outside of that, every, every every magic item in this game has a downside. It gets condescending. I was saying, the last magic item I had made me crazy, so... <laughs> oh, I thought it was just you. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so currently it dispels magic. Currently. When it when it's worn, right? I never said that. We'll We've been figure. in the same zone and you've used magic. Uh, we'll, well, wasn't we'll, we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, we have done that. Yep. I think we found it out accidentally. We found out what it did accidentally when Tony tried yeah. to use all kinds of willpower on the spell and nothing happened. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys pick up and uh, head out. Which way are you going? There's the the plume of the volcano down to the uh, the southeast, or directly east is the path home. I, I'm thinking east, but I'm thinking east too. But I'm not the one leading the way. I had east in mind too. Because the volcano is where the dragon is, right? Uh, no, the volcano no. is where you think where the hammer is. Hammers. Okay, volcanoes, hammer, dragon's den at the to the north is the dragon. Okay. Yeah, okay. north is the dragon's den. Volcano is where the hammer allegedly is. Oh, right here. Uh, oh, let's go. Let's go home. <laughs> It, it's it's such a long way. Look how many how few squares we've crossed in fifty four sessions, right? <laughs> like coming back is is it's gonna be hard. I don't keep derailing ourselves. My my plan was going to the village, uh, restocking, taking a little break, giving orders, and then going for the hammer. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm going to need a uh, lead the way roll and a scouting roll from whoever's keeping watch. 
Uh, I guess I'm scouting. And maybe a little song rising, just to... Sure. I'll play like that bard from The Witcher. <laughs> I don't care if it's good. Just fucking say. Poor, poor Tress just is so tired. Oh, sweet. I can use Path of the Song 2 to get you to pay me for my singing. <laughs> I, I will pay you for your singing. Do well, I have but I guess it's willpower. It's like oral coffee. I, I could give you willpower to make you sing. It, it, it won't be fun, but I could do it. <laughs> nah, I'll save that if we're in the town, maybe. Uh, but yes, if you want to use uh, Path of the Hymn level two, uh, you could spend a willpower to uh, to give Trustius some wits back so he doesn't fall asleep while you're walking. Sure. All right. So as you uh, as you guys set off. Uh, through the through the woods and it's it's kind of slow going basically you can meet uh, make one hex every quarter day uh, but it's a it's a pleasant day for travel it's uh it's late spring coming into uh, into summer basically kind of the equivalent of like late may ish early june uh, the birds are the birds are singing the the fluffy clouds when you can see them through the canopy of trees uh, and Kaldi. You hear a what sounds like a like a like a whistling noise approaching you at a fairly high velocity. Like someone's singing or an or an arrow. Uh, well, you kind of look up and you see a, a like a, a fair-sized speck of something rapidly getting bigger as it descends towards you. <laughs> Scatter incoming. <laughs> and just boots it in what? a particular direction and dies. <laughs> covers his head. <laughs> incoming. So how does that mean? So yeah. So Cody dives to the side underneath some uh, underneath some brush, and there's this like this impact. There's like a, a like a rustle of the tree branches, and then an impact uh, as something. Probably about the size of a the, cannonball. No, like the size of like a really large dog or a small child. Uh, kind of hits the ground uh, with a kind of a an impact, like a bone shattering impact. Well, that's unusual. The all right, I'll get alive. up. Is it alive? No, not anymore. All right, I'll go take a look and scan the skies with my best view to see what dropped it this time. All right. Um, as you get close to it, it looks like mostly a pig. A pig's in space. Mostly a pig? Like it's not quite a pig? Or most of a pig? As in something ate part of it first? Uh, most of a pig. Okay. okay. That's slightly different. Uh, and then again, there's like that sound of like branches cracking and a whistling sound. Uh, and probably about a good 10 feet past where that pig is. Another one impacts the ground. Weird what? farmers in this part of the world. The hell? Not geared this early. Oh, good time. <laughs> do pigs fly? <laughs> They're not <laughs> supposed to. Dragons do. So. <laughs> Dragons do. Them. <laughs> Why are people throwing pigs at us? I don't giant. see a dragon. Is there giants around? Why would giants so, throw pigs? Yeah. Like when you have an apple they can bite and it's not good and you just throw it in the wood, I expect. 
I'll I'd, take I'd, a look at the second pig. Did anything take a bite out of it before tossing it over its shoulder? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, this one's got uh, part of it missing, too. This is not our first giant flying predator. No? That has dropped carcasses yeah. on us. I mean, the vulture take their prey up and drop them on the ground to um, break them down to eat the bone. But um, I don't think it's at that stage. Uh, can I check the bite to try to determine what kind of thing could have taken a bite of it? Uh, you sure can. Make a nature roll. That would be survival? Uh, yes, survival. Survival or lore. That's the two I can't see. I'm with Caldi and gonna scan the skies while this is happening. Uh, I don't want to become the next pig. <laughs> I don't want a pig to land on us. How far away from us are, th are these impacts happening? Um, not super close to you. Uh, okay, if you can't see, you got uh, zero successes and two beans. Damn. <laughs> no, I, I can't see. Uh, could you push that for me? Push it with two bad. beans. Brave. Brave. Oh, no. <laughs> I got jack shit. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right, but as you guys are, are pondering uh, this, uh, Kaldi and, uh, and Desi, since you guys were specifically keeping your eyes open, uh, you see two very large humanoids kind of making their way through the woods towards you, or towards the space. Are they harpies, like at the castle tower thing? No, they are not. They, they look mostly human, aside from the fact that they're about 14 feet tall. Oh, I'm giant. We're at one... Hi, Hyde. Um, yep. That, they look like they're looking for lost pigs, I'm guessing. I'm thinking that they were tossing pigs to see who could throw it the farthest. This is like giant golf or something. Is, is this like the, the thing what? you throw the ball close to the, 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 the little ball that you call the piggy? Like like a pig-based bocce ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pig bocce ball. Pig chi? Bocce? <laughs> right. um, so yeah, so these two, these two large figures are walking towards you guys, or towards the area. I hide. Uh. Right, Kakaldi can give me a stealth roll. I will push. All right, I'm slightly slower than I used to be. Well, I'm half as slow as I used to be. Um, so yeah, so as the two, as, as Caldi's like desperate looking for a place to hide and accidentally twists his knee on a, like an, you know, root sticking out of the ground, these, uh, these two giants just kind of like walk into the area. They kind of see you. They kind of look. I so, yell. Like, I yell when I twist my ankle. Mm. Those are our pigs. Okay. No problem. <laughs> and um, can I ask you something though? Mm, what? Why were you throwing them? Let's see who can throw it the farthest. Okay. Who won? don't know yet oh. one is there and the other one's over there oh. and they go over and the, the two of them basically stand there and they look at the pigs they kind of like look and see like, 
One of those like, mine went further this time. Okay. Try again. Two out of three. <laughs> and then Hooray. They, yeah, and then they basically just like each pick up their pig. Uh, they get to like kind of find a, a line. You know, kind of make a line with their, you know, with dragging their foot. And then, like, one after the other, they basically do it almost like a, like a hammer throw in the Olympics. You know, they grab, like, a, like a foreleg and a back leg, and they kind of, like, hop and step and turn and heave. Okay. Wow. You gonna take the winner, Desi? Uh, no. Mm. No, I don't think so. Do you have a pig? Uh, no. No, I do not have a pig. Oh, one second. I, 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 I my can't pig play without a pig, so, you know, it's, I, it's I, okay. I hide my pig de- behind me. <laughs> 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 Shit, I do have a pig. Fuck. Don't, don't throw my pig. <laughs> no, Wait, we no, got a pig? No. I don't have a pig. Okatai has a pig, so it's fine. Right. So when, when did Okatai get a pig? He's got a pig. It's been a long time. Yeah. And we had a we had a goblin sitting on it, but he fled when we got attacked by Terra Stop and Terra Malda. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't remember that. Hmm. It's it's my emotional support pig. Uh, but one of the one of the giants oh gets, like, like takes this uh, this. Like this kind of like slung sack off, kind of puts it on the ground, kind of reaches in and pulls out a, you know, like a, a decent sized dead pig. Says, there, now you can play too. Give it a shot, dude. Sure. Why not? I, I won't be winning, but it'll give you two something to laugh at later today, I guess. <sighs> Pig tossing. You you are giving up eight feet. Not what I expected when I woke up this morning. Yeah, I'm I'm eight feet short holy. <laughs> I'm not usually eight feet shorter than anybody. Uh but yeah, I'm starting much lower on the ground than you two. Hmm. And I, I don't think I could get my footing in a tree. Hmm. Yeah. Oh wait. And then they, they like they go forward and they like kind of draw another line that's like significant significantly like closer to the direction they toss the pigs. I'm getting a pity line. It, it's called. It's like a beginner in golf. It's called what, Trustius? A ladies' tee. It's a game that the elves play. I am going to punch you later when you least expect it. Just for that. Mm. If he doesn't throw a pig, then you're stronger than he is. We, that, he and that's I not really hard to accomplish. Him. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, Desi will mm. pick up the pig and walk up to the line and try her best to copy their form because she is not experienced, oddly enough, in hog toss, <laughs> whatever this game is called. Mm. <laughs> Pigskin. It's called. It's called Throw the Pig. Great. I'm not experienced in Throw the Pig. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll we'll, give it a shot. We'll see we to, how far this... We need to create a Throw the Pig League sales. for the island. <sighs> it's the new national sport of the island. Oh. This is just how about weird. Throw the Squirrel? I would throw the squirrel like I throw a rock just with high force at something hard. Okay. 
Make a uh, I'm, might roll. I was going to say, I'm guessing this is might. <laughs> no. I, I don't care enough about winning to push it. All right. Well, you, you, you give it the old college try. Um, <laughs> but... I mean, a small pig to the giants is still, you know, a, a good-sized hog for Desi. <laughs> and you throw it, you know, some feet. I mean, toss it to pigs, toss it to pig. Right? Yeah. 200 uh, pounds, that's the thing. Yep. Uh, and the giants will kind of look and say, like, good job. Thanks. You should not compete, though. No, no, I should not. Unless you have, like, a kids' league or something. No. You know, people my height. No, no, uh, no throw the porcupine in game? Oh, God. No. Just imagine it would hold on to you as you were trying to throw it. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Thanks for the invitation. And for lending me a pig to throw. You can keep the pig. You can practice. Thanks. I undoubtedly need the practice. Uh, I, I've never done this before. Ever. She is very small. But bigger Does than you. Over trustees and frown. <laughs> and then they are uh, there. Uh... Sorry. Are there a lot of you giants that play this game? Mm. Maybe. When we find other giants, we tell them. Yeah, you, you're the first two we've ever seen. Mm. Uh, no, we've seen another. <laughs> Have we? When did we yeah. see another? Yeah. When did we see a giant? He, he was going back to his uh, giant village. Was that back when we, were, when we were still living with uh, that fucking squirrel? Uh, just after just after we got attacked by the field of uh skeletons uh just when we were coming back from the the the, the castle with the ghost uh we wanted to bring to grab a couple of weapons that were lying in the field with and then some skeleton ra rose up from that field we decided it was a bad idea but just after that we we met a giant and he talked about his giant village that was a bit farther to the north Did I get smacked in the head? Because I don't remember that at all. Several times did, since then, yes. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Is. Yeah, I suppose I have. <laughs> yeah. Some things get stuck in there. Some things apparently do not. I'm sorry. We apparently have but a giant before. Yeah, and I just... left me uh, this piece of fabric with his name on it to show if I ever got to his village so I wouldn't get smashed. Huh. That piece here. <laughs> and he was a bit smaller than you like not much but a bit so apparently there's a village of giants up north if you start tossing in that direction they do like tossing apparently we, we are not village people yeah yeah I get you yeah, he don't look like a cop, but um, lions <laughs> or a seller. Or... You want somebody uh, beat me to the punch on that one? <laughs> That's a question I had for a while. What's the relation with trolls? We have no relations with trolls. Okay. Oh, just that we, we've met a troll and he was alone, and I was wondering if uh, we could help him find some company eventually. So, so. 
if you had had a good relation with them, could have been a solution. Troll, trolls are generally mindless beasts. Oh, this one was talkative. Oh. But yeah, I had some hope for him. Hmm. Well, we should be going. Those pigs aren't going to throw themselves. True. A very good point. Yeah, they're very playing. strong. It was wonderful watching your your work. Would you like to play? Oh, <laughs> sure. I'll give it a shot. Oh. Please don't use most of the ball. Or as. All right, pig. I'll take a. Desi, I'll borrow uh. Desi's pig, which is probably bigger than me. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'll make my might roll, and God, I if, if I can ever make a like a super roll, this is the one I want. <laughs> oh. I'll push it. Push it, push it. <laughs> Nothing. I go flying, the pig stays where it is. <laughs> right. So yeah, so you you struggle just to get the, the pig into the, the, a throwing type position. This might not be my score. I, sport. I laugh my ass off. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this might not try. be my sport. Good try, the guy. <laughs> this is this wow, is not that, your sport. Wow, when she <laughs> when she drove your head into the ground, man, she really did a number on you. They kind of like pick the pig up, you know, kind of like pass it to Desi. Thank you. It's great. <laughs> Maybe next time we meet. Maybe. Uh, do you have a route that you normally take or just wandering? Just wander. Sometimes we, have, um, sometimes we have to get new pigs. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine. Um, we might be going dragon hunting, so uh, hopefully we meet you again before then. Mm, because probably not after. Probably not. Probably not. Um, yeah. I have, have you two been up there before? And she'll point toward the volcano. Why would we go where it is hot and the ground burns? Yeah, I've often kind of wondered that myself. Um, yeah. Have you seen a dragon around? Oh, we have seen dragons. From a distance. Well, there's more than one. Well, I mean, if there's dragon eggs, you kind of expect there to be more than one, wouldn't you? I was I mean, being optimistic. Good luck with your dragon. Good luck with your pig throwing. Thank you. It is much safer than dragons. Yes. Maybe not for Culty. Ow. So wait, do okay. we now have a partially injured, half alive, or dead pig? Oh, it's very uh -huh. dead. It's very it's dead. Very dead. <laughs> well, we might be able to eat it. It is, it is in fact, worth six rations of meat. I mean, yeah. we, 
it's slightly bruised. Like if I kick a pig, or I just feel bad that somebody's gonna get a, a, a uh... Or it's a big pig ball. <laughs> Could be big. It's like half sausage already. Oh, Dizzy and I clearly need practice. Actually, I suppose we could make meal make meals out of it, and then we could stuff it, and you could still use it for pig ball. I mean, we could make a meal out of it and use the skin to make a ball. But we exactly. could make a smaller. We should make a smaller ball with it. Let, let's size. start with getting away from the giant. <laughs> Sounds fair. We could make a pig yeah. skin ball. We could make a new sport out of that. We can so we don't have to get, throw it like we could call it handed. <laughs> You'd have to, you have to keep the legs on it though, because like the whole part of it, yeah. is you have to hold it by the legs when you're I'm tossing. I'm telling it. you, we, we stop we, at we this. Walk. <laughs> we stop at <laughs> height. <laughs> we stop at height. We try hand. to get this set up as a league, and then we go home. Then we got two te teams right there, and we just build from there. Pig ball. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about this while walking, though. But yeah. yeah. Just like okay. tiny legs on a, on a little imitation of a small pig, and we can make a game out of that. <laughs> I mean, with enough practice, maybe we can at least compete. Tully says, that. I'll ref. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure nobody uh, uh, confuse you with the ball. Yeah, yeah, maybe you shouldn't, ref. You don't want to start being called the ball. <laughs> All right, so you guys are continuing to the east? Yeah. Yep. All right, uh, so once again, I will need a uh, lead the way roll and a scouting roll for the afternoon. That was a cool little encounter. Ooh, <laughs> no successes and a bane on the lead the way. Oh, damn it. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to push that. I'm going to break my brain, but I'm going to push that. Please. No wonder you guys have willpower for days. Uh, <laughs> right now I'm full, so I'm not even getting willpower from pushing. Only oh. I only use willpower to take oh. stuff out of a bag and then to, or to give it to you. Oh, poor Okatai. Oh, uh, I, I, I flummox my brain. <laughs> I'm down. Did I actually get a success out of that, or just Bane? You did get a success. I'm He's very upset. Lumpy. <laughs> it's that way, but don't talk to me. Stupid. Why is, why is he beating his forehead against that tree? I don't ask questions. He needs to practice his uh, pig ball more. <laughs> Very competitive. That was so strange. Hey, look at that. Why don't I go in the backyard and go throw the old pig ball around? <laughs> Damn stupid. Not I think it might. Forest wait. threes. Mm. Yep. I think he might have gotten a mushroom that wasn't cooked quite all the way through. Uh, um, how close are we to the village? <laughs> uh, you're not really. You're probably you're probably at least a quarter day away. Okay. I think technically having no wits left, I'm broken. You are broken. Uh, yeah. But when I'm broken, I can spend one willpower for my pig to console me, to bring me, to give me back some of that. All right. So I'd, I'd like to spend at least one willpower to not be broken in wits. Like, I'm I'm cursing at everything, and my pig is just giving me little headbutts, like, calm the fuck down, big dummy. <laughs> it really is an emotional support pig. Okay. It, it actually is. <laughs> I get mad at everything. The pig is like, just <sighs> stop that. <laughs> uh, do uh, one of you guys want to try to get us to the village? Mm -hmm. I don't think Okatai is really getting along with 
anything right now. Well, scouting, right? Well, it's e it's evening. Perhaps we'll set up camp. And... That's the big thing. Is it is evening? So it would be a is it already. Uh huh. Shit. You have forced, forced march if you want to continue on. Yeah, we should sleep and let him. Uh... Okay. So, so somebody else has to set up camp, I guess, because isn't he the one that normally does? Yep. <sighs> what is that, survival? Uh, uh, it is survival with a plus two because you have a tent. Well, I've got a five base without any bonuses. Oh, well, I've only got a four base. So. Oh, go for it. And you said I get a two I modifier? A six yep. base, but you're all on it. You can have it. <laughs> I can help if that gives another modifier. Uh, it would give a plus one. And I guess All right, I'll uh, do it. what would uh, Trestius and Desi and uh, Okitai like to do while Cap is getting set up? Desi's going to keep watch. Okay. <coughs> is somebody good enough to look for water? Yeah, I'm going to look for water. Okay. Because I would, but uh, I shouldn't. You're, you're very angry. <laughs> Come back with muddy water and tell us to suck it up. <laughs> right, uh, Here, I have the stickers. <laughs> right, so I need a, a scouting roll from uh, uh, Desi and a survival roll from Trustius. It's not a great oh, roll. Yeah. I'll try. Right, I'll push that. I'm going to try to sleep while the camp is getting set up, because right. I'm fixed. I will push, because we're going to be sleeping soon. And fail. Oh, interesting. Words you never want to hear Chris say. Uh, Trestius, you can give me a scouting roll. Need a scouting roll for Trustius. I don't see any AFK note. Nope. Sorry, who? Uh, Trustius? Trustius. Sorry? I need a scouting roll. Scouting roll? Okay. Didn't I do a scouting roll? I uh, no, you did a survival roll that failed. Okay, scouting roll. I'll take that. All right. That's probably for the best. Sleep deprived. Trestius is full of willpower. <laughs> Oh no, he's setting up a map. Yep, he is. All right. 
So, uh, trust us, you, uh, you find like a, what looks like a, a water source. Uh, and you're like, oh, okay, good. And then you kind of look over and you see this large, um, like, brown shape that is like basically slapping the water and like trying to pull fish out with its claws. Don't oh. have a uh, and then the bear notices you as they do um, and uh, you're probably going to want to roll some initiative hmm. should we be able to see his map I, I just moved everybody to the map okay because I've just got a plain black map There. Oh, uh, there it is. I, I would like to change my initiative with the bear. Uh, <laughs> the, the the bear disagrees. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good try. Very unsportsmanlike for that bear. <laughs> It'll never be invited to get invited to play Toss the Rock yeah. or Peggy or whatever. So the bear looks over at Trussius and kind of like kind of like growls at him, kind of like sniffs and growls. Uh, and then kind of galumps towards you, but cannot quite close the distance. You're up. I I would like to leave. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I I don't see like we have food. I don't I don't see any reason to fight this bear. Right. Because I I think there's a mechanism for that. Uh, there is. You can make a move roll. I would like to make a move, bro. Because. Not really a lot of people. Jealousy should that. not be fighting a bear by himself. <laughs> no. oh, oh, damn. Shit, Push, I'm pushing that. All right. Yeah. Uh, that, that reminds that me of when, was, when I encountered that open. gator. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, and the last thing we're going to need is a uh, endurance roll from Okatai. The weird thing about fighting a bear is so I would hurt myself more than it would hurt me, probably. Probably. Because magic in this is not safe. So, I mean, <laughs> you'd be offering it a cooked meal. <laughs> I, I could kill it, but my brain might explode. I assume it's not enough to wake me up. Uh, I need an endurance roll from you. Oh, sorry. Yep. I expected that roll eventually. It didn't hear it if you asked me. Sorry. Why is it not rolling? Shouldn't be long. No worries. Uh, but in the in the meantime, while we wait for the roll, um, so yeah, after you know, trustees, you come you come running back. The the you know camp is set up. Desi, you're on watch. You you hear like a banging and thrashing through the woods before Trustius emerges, um, looking like he's you know run like you know four or five miles. Uh, what are you doing? Bear. And, and, oh. notab and notably, um, Trustius hoods back like that, that cowl that he normally wears is, is, is back. Oh. Shoulders are straight, looking in the eyes. Typical Trustius when he has lots of willpower, right? Yeah. Strides back in, just owns the place. Did you 
chill it? Should I? Well, I don't know. That's normally what I do when I'm face to face with a bear. Chose to avoid it. That's the problem. If you'd like a deck, I, I like can kill it. Death. No, that's fine as long as it doesn't, you know, show up here. <clears throat> In which case, I'll kill it. But if you escape a bear, we'll let the bear have its little victory and. Not I think risk. The bear escape. I'm gonna restart Foundry because it's not okay. rolling. Do you want me to roll for you? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, two successes. You sleep like a babe. <laughs> was it babe a pig? <laughs> yep. Yep, it was. As far as I know. All right. Uh, so as evening segues into into night, uh, Ryzen, you've got the the camp all set up, uh, campfire going, tents. Nothing to this camping thing, really. <laughs> well, easy peasy. Uh, Desi, aside from Trustius, nothing else has found the camp. That's good. Uh, Okatai gets some rest. Uh, and uh, Trustius is still sleepy. Oh, oh yes. Uh, but what Locks would everybody that down yes. to four days though? Four days. <laughs> right. uh, so what would people like to do during the night? I guess I'm standing guard, and I'll sleep in the morning. I will contemplate yeah, um, slashing Desi's yeah. throat and raising her as a death knight, but I will, <laughs> in the end, in the end, I will help Kaldi keep watch because I, I can't even roll to sleep, so. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. Teach your magic. She'd be great. Um, All right, and I need a uh, scouting roll from Caldi. Plus I'd one like with Trestius, right? Uh, yes. <sighs> I will help. Can't see I'd like to spend XP while I sleep. Yes, Two success. Anybody who uh, sleeps can spend XP. Oh, now you're just showing up. I mean, I'll wait to see if they wake me up. But yeah, I'd like to raise my melee. All right. So, Kaldi. Uh, as you're on watch. Uh, you hear you hear voices. Uh, kind of like a like a singing a, a cheerful tune. I'm back. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, with a cheerful tune. With way more enthusiasm than skill. Are we yeah. at the night night phase? Yes, we are. Did anybody find water in the end? Uh, no. Okay. There was a bear. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> Probably not the best time to look for water in the middle of the night, though. Uh, who was sending guards? Sorry. Uh, Kaldi, Kaldi and Trusius are watching. Okay. Uh, I, I wanted to practice something through the night. Okay. Now that I'm not as grumpy. All right. Uh, but yes, uh, Kaldi, you hear these uh, these voices uh, singing uh, singing a merry tune about uh, heroic and bold goblin rescuers uh, getting a voluptuous halflings free from the jaws of the wolves. 
I don't recall doing that. I'm not sure they're talking about you. Well, let's give them a different song then. Uh, wait here, Tris. Yes, I'll go. I'll go make friends, and uh, he'll wander off to the voices, coming along with them. Uh, and yeah, in fairly short order, you find uh, a group of, uh, of three goblins. Basically, they, they've got like their little, kind of like their little hobo uh, hobo bags. You know, their, their belongings wrapped up uh, on a stick over their shoulder. Uh, seem to be chewing on some squirrel jerky. Not a, not a care in the world. Greetings, friends. How are you? What brings you this way? I'm gonna spin around for a sec there. <gasps> oh, it's been a long time since we've seen another goblin. Hey, Plump, what do you make of this? Another goblin. It's like, oh, it can't be a goblin. There's no. Oh, it is a goblin. So, and you notice, like, the, they look. They look similar enough that you can tell that they are they are definitely related. There's a there's a strong familial vibe amongst them. Like, are you from are you from the village? Ah, uh, no, just recent to the island. Honestly, I've been exploring with a uh, with my adventurer friends. Oh, adventurer friends. Oh yeah, we got like a weird wizard and a. Badass warrior lady. We've got uh, uh, we got bards and and clerics. It's just a, it's just a, it's like right out of a song. And then there's me, their glorious leader who stands in the back and carries their stuff. Hmm. Oh, but all the best leaders lead from the back. Smart ones do. Hmm. Dangerous on this island. Oh, well, lots of people die on the island, that's for sure. It's kind of, we're on our way to, uh, we heard there's a village up this way. Think, uh, we're thinking of maybe setting up a grave digging business. Oh, okay. Is there a lot of call for that in this village? We were thinking of dropping by just to visit it on our way through. Uh, well, I would, we assume there, there's people there and people die. And humans kind of like to not have their, their dead just sitting around stinking up the place. Good point. What's your names, friends? Caldy Fig, pleased to meet you. Uh, and the one that speaks says, uh, my name's Hecate. Uh, that, uh, the chubby one over there is Plump, and that one's Colk. Fine names. Noble names. Well, hopefully we can meet you at the village. And uh, hopefully as, uh, as, as friends and not customers. <laughs> hopefully. Um... <laughs> Do you mind if we, if we like, partake of your fire for like just a little bit? Do you mind? I mean, we can, we can pay. We have some, we have some roasted squirrel. We have some squirrel jerky, uh, and we have some mead that we got off a, a dwarf merchant. Well, uh, I don't think that's a problem. My friends can be grumpy, but uh, I know one would love to see some dead squirrels. Huh. Excellent. Well then, lead the way, sir. And I'll take him back. Introduce him to uh, Trestius. Uh, so yes, so Trestius uh, and I guess uh, Okatai. Um, Kaldi comes back with these uh, three other goblins trailing him. Why? Oh, we're building. Oh, they're going to share some food. Uh, uh, sec, I thought you'd found Oscar back. No, no. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah. We, we told him the way. Hopefully he finds the way back. Now these 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 people are fine gentlemen are on their way to the village to set up a grave digging business. I mean, to to be fair, Plump and Colk are going to do the actual digging. I'm going to be more of the 
finance and project manager. Oh, that's the way to be. Yes, that's for sure. I would relate to that. Uh, Trustius here tends to uh, uh, make use of the uh, the deceased in other ways. Oh, our great great grandmother was uh, a very respected necromancer. Oh, I'm learning yeah. a bit of magic myself lately. Oh. Want to see a card trick? Sure. sure. Uh, let's see. Okata is raising an eyebrow from the back. I'm, I'm actually just going to do a regular old card trick. Let me, uh, uh, manipulation okay or performance? Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, where's that? Oh, geez, under agility. Oh, I ain't going to make this one. Because you're 100 years old? <laughs> I pushed for comedy's sake. I was hoping I was going to lose another agility and pass out. Uh, no, no, sorry. That's not how you do it. Jeez, let me reshuffle. I'll turn my back. And I, you know, I just did it the second time. It still doesn't work. Uh, I knew I, I got to get my book. Never mind. I'll tell you later. When I'll tell you, show you in the village. Okay. Uh, refresh. Oh, is that the one you taught me, uh, Colby? Yeah, you get you get the four aces on the top, but I'll... let me try to see if I remember what you taught me. <laughs> and I'm trying to come to Colby's rescue. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so while the two of you are performing your, your uh, trick, they they will share their squirrel jerky and their uh, and their mead. Apparently, wolf uh, wolfkin paws are not meant for card tricks either. Zero successes and a bane. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna push that. <laughs> I don't want to that much. Uh, but yeah, we fi we figured you know there's a village there. There's people there. People die. Uh, sometimes they hang around for a little while, and when they hang around, then you got to keep them happy. But Hecate's really good at that. Uh, so. Uh, you know, while uh, she's making sure the restless dead don't get any more restless, uh, you know, we'll dig some graves, and uh, I'm sure we can make a great business of it. Restless dead. Yeah, sometimes when people die, they they still hang around. You probably noticed this. More times than that, I guess. Hmm. So if you don't keep them satisfied then sometimes they uh, they they cause some problems and satisfied then, yeah you know you gotta you know make sure that they've got all their earthly affairs in order and then you've got to convince them that they are in fact dead and that they should just lay down in the grave that's a lot more complicated than i thought this job would be it's not always like that. Sometimes it's you just dig a hole and you put them in and you bury them. But if you don't do things right, then sometimes they come back. And, you know, if there's one thing that Grandma told me, she was always like, always make sure that everything is in its proper place before you close up the shop. Yeah, I learned that too. Is this a common problem everywhere, or just this village? Oh, it happens from time to time. I mean, some people... Some people use, like, their power over the dead for their own gains. You know, they might, you know, go to a graveyard and raise a body to, like, you know, fight for them, or plow their field, or whatever. But that's just not right. Yeah, I've seen that, and I didn't care for it. I mean, it's different if you talk to them first and you ask them if they mind. I mean, I'm sure that would be okay. Uh, it's just... I don't know. It seems... I don't mind a free employee, but uh, I, I don't know if I want them to be dead. You know, like, interns are okay, but... Hmm. Uh, you see slaves, not so much. You don't want anyone working the graveyard shift? Hmm, that's funny. 
anyway, um... Yeah, Resin taught me to be funny. I'm trying. Well, thank you for sharing your fire. We, uh, we appreciate it. You know, Thanks for the mead. Is there anything you need? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I think we're almost at the village. We'll probably be there by morning, I think. All right. Well, we'll see you there. Hmm. Again, hopefully as uh, friends and not as customers. Hmm. Of course. Good luck. I hope you find whatever adventure you're looking for. Me too, and I hope it brings us lots of wealth. Okay. Uh, and then they will kind of pack up their things, not to overstay their welcome. And they will head on. Jeez, we've seen everything from... 14 feet tall to 4 feet tall. And a bear. I'd rather you meet some of your folks in the wood than some of the other things that fell on us in the wood. That's for sure. Hey, Trishis, you, you, you know how to prepare food. You know how I could make this liquid thicker? Which liquid? Oh, this one here. It's a potion I made. I need it to stick to this blade. I can try. Are you looking for a poison? Yeah. Lots of things we meet it seems to be more complicated to kill every day. So maybe if you can brew the right poison for the right thing and make stuff less in our way. <laughs> but I need to find a way to put it on the blade first. You could leave the pig out. I can make it into a poison for you. You need some like sun dried pig for poison. Poison comes from rot. Oh, yeah, I can definitely make rot. Mm, I mean, you can we could always put your blade it. near. I can make it poison. Put, we could always put your blade next to a bit, a bit of a, a, a meat, and that would turn into rot quite fast. I suppose so. We should ensure that everyone has food before we do so. Oh yeah. Step one, feed everyone, but I'll, I'll, I'll look for excess food to turn into rot then. Are you looking for a poison to kill a goblin or a poison to kill a dragon? I'm more into trying to kill dragon right now. It'd be more difficult, but it's something I can do. But I'd like, to, I'd like to have a a little collection, depending on what we face, that I'm prepared. All magic is dangerous. Yeah, uh, I'll try to make some the old-fashioned way, but if you can help me make some more efficient one, that could be nice. All right. You bring me rotten food, and I can turn it into something you can use. Okay, good. Thanks a lot. Right. Um, the rest of the evening, the rest of the night passes quietly, peacefully. Uh, but as morning starts to approach, the wind is picking up, and by the time like the sun kind of comes up and everybody starts waking up, you're waking up more because of the kind of like the whipping, flapping sound of the wind against your tents than anything else. It is a blustery, stormy morning. Well, it's my turn to sleep. Uh, but in the morning, everybody gets up. Uh, everybody can roll their food and waters and then decide what you would like to do in the morning. Uh, can I roll my wits to try to learn my talent? You sure can. I'm, I'm spending trying to, the XP. Trying to learn the rogue talent, uh, Path of Poison.
I don't see my role once again. Damn it. <laughs> uh, two successes. Great. Nice. So it's five XP. Am I wrong? Am I right? Uh, nope. Uh, talent. Uh, talent is three times, and then I think another. I think I said another class without a teacher is triple, so that'd be nine. Okay. Uh, but yes, everybody gets up in the morning. It is uh, blustery. You, you think it would be hard travel this morning at the very least, but Kaldi needs to sleep anyway. Uh, Trustius takes a point of damage to Wits. Yes, he does. And he drops. All right. Uh, well, those I mean, he's been up for three days, right? So 72 <laughs> hours. Uh, those three needs to sleep. Um, Colby, do you, uh, Risen, could you, do you mind, like, cooking, uh, some of that pig? We can keep some of that skin to make the ball. No, I got no problems cooking, cooking the pig. Uh, if, uh, if there are some that stays raw, like, you could keep me one or two, uh, piece of meat raw on the side for something else. Uh, I don't need more food, but I could use that. Okay. So if you want, if you want to cook the rest, I I'm gonna go look for water. So we have some for everyone. Does that make sense? Yes, please. So you could keep watch, Dizzy, while I do that. Yep. Okay. Uh, when Trustius was trying to find water, he found a bear instead. Oh. Yeah. Oh, water so too. keep keep an eye out when you're out there. Okay. Uh, and if you ever see a bird with a ring, try to convince him to come by and remove the ring. <laughs> I will do my best. I still have the rings that, that Chris has found that uh, turns you into a yeah. bird. Uh, and if hopefully everything you won't goes... need to use it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I won't. But I want to try it before we get into troubles, just so uh, I can learn how to make it work. <laughs> oh. Like, I'd rather okay. warn you that it's a thing that exists, and if I'm in really in trouble, I might use it. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. It's not the plan, though. That's not what I'm going to do. But I, I didn't mention it before. So. <laughs> Sounds like something I should say. <laughs> I'll go look for water. All right, so Kaldi and Trustees are sleeping. Okta's looking for water. Uh, Desi and Ryzen are at the camp. Yep. Yes, I will get to work cooking, uh, cooking, uh, pig. All right. I will keep watch. All right, uh, Desi can give me a scouting roll. Um, Ryzen, you have, uh, you have chef. I know you have chef. Yeah, I got one rank of chef and a rank of crafting. Uh, so, uh, Ryzen, uh, you don't have to make a roll to, to successfully cook food. You just need to roll a d6 to see how many of them you can cook during the quarter day. Apparently, uh, apparently, there's not a lot of good meat left on the boar. I wouldn't imagine they pulled I mean, it it's out been of the tossed a bunch. Yeah. That's why I wanted to keep like parts of it to make rot. So whatever he's not cooking, I'm gonna keep. Yep. Carried uh, for who knows how long. Uh, and the important thing with the uh, if you're using um, path of death to make poison is it has to be a unit of food. That you corrupt that can't be meat or fish or vegetables or whatever it has to be food so it has to be something that's been turned into rations that you're giving up oh okay so it's not uncooked food it's like yes it has to be prepared yeah it's it, nice yep. yeah it has to be actual food okay right. uh, you said there was six units on the pig 
Uh, there is, uh, Ryzen is only able to cook one, so there's five that can be eaten raw if anybody wants to. <laughs> How long can we carry that pig before it turns bad? Uh, it needs to be cooked today. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna oh, say okay. yesterday. Yesterday was the limit. Stupid <laughs> pork. <laughs> you got it That's off. That's why the... we only got one off it this morning. You, you got it off the uh, the clearance rack at the superstore, and you don't have a freezer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that situation. I've been there before. <laughs> I mean, I generally buy things off the clearance rack, and then I throw them in my freezer. Yeah. But we don't have a freezer. But you do not. All right. Uh, so I need a scouting roll from Desi. And a survival roll from Okatai. I'm apparently very bad at keeping watch this morning. Some clever uh, encounters this session. Equal parts like the goblin encounter is literally an actual random encounter from one of the many books I have. It's like, oh, I like that one. Giants, I'm like, uh, you guys have encountered giants before. What else would be fun? Caper tossing. Kinds of random encounters today. All right, uh, so Desi, since you're on watch, yeah. Uh, from a, a distance away, kind of um, coming through the the trees, you can't tell exactly how far away, but you hear this uh, this agonized bellowing sound. Does it sound like Okatai? It does not sound like Okatai. That's good. A bear? Uh, and did you actually... Did you succeed on your scouting? No! Okay. <laughs> That's just it. dressed you having nightmares. It's well, fine. Uh, so yeah, so you hear this uh, this bellowing sound, and it's it's loud enough. And uh, as you and uh, you and Ryzen both uh, both kind of look, since you're both at the the camp, and you both hear this sound, um, it's hard to tell exactly because the the wind is so strong. Um, it's entirely possible that that bellow basically created. Uh, almost like a like a shock wave that made trees move, or it's the wind. You're not sure which. Pray for wind. Huh. Interesting timing. Um. Just in case. I'm going to uh, pull Breath, and we're going to take a step outside just to look around. Because it didn't sound like it immediately, but it might be a bear. Give me a survival roll. I would rather meet a bear before it gets to the tent. Uh, you're pretty sure it's not a bear. Okay. Um, and uh, again, it's a drug. You, uh, again, you hear this, uh, this like just like howl of pain, um, like just this agonized bellow. Uh, it is definitely not a bear, um, and it is definitely not human. And it's definitely not Okatai? Definitely not Okatai. 
Uh, I'm going to let Ryzen know what I'm doing, and then I'm going to start moving in the direction I think it came from. Want back up? Um... Probably wouldn't be a terrible idea, but if you've got something going that you can't stop, stop. don't worry about, a, it, worry about I've it. I've got the crappy scraps of this pig cooking. I, it's I, not going to be a huge loss. I wouldn't imagine, no. It didn't... It didn't quite feel squishy, but it was a little closer than I like my pig. Yeah, maybe we can turn it to like a jerky or a strip, but otherwise there's not a lot of good meat on this thing. I wouldn't think so. All right, let's go investigate this thing. All right. So the two of you take off, leaving uh, Caldi and Tresius sleeping by themselves. Yep. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like a bear is going to come and like do it. I'm going to put that down to my failed roll. Yeah, you all been hanging around Caldy too much. <laughs> Caldy was responsible for a change. <laughs> I blame the concussion <laughs> for being responsible. Absolutely, he would never yeah. have. He would never have hid. When something interesting was happening, if it wasn't for that knock in the head. Very true. Um, so you make your way through the uh, through the the woods, um, periodically hearing this sound uh, again and again. And as you get closer and closer, it is clearly not human. Um, and you kind of come to a, a point where you can kind of like see through the trees into this like small um, kind of clearing. Um, and in the clearing, you see what looks like, uh, it looks like the body of a lion, uh, but it's got like a very kind of human-esque face, um, and a long tail, uh, tipped with, uh, with venomous barbs. Uh, what really draws your attention though is like, as this thing like lets out this, uh, again, this unholy, like, bellow. Um, and you look, and you see that whatever this creature is, um, it's just given birth. Uh, huh. And Aww. both of you can give me survival rolls. Damn, I wish I was there. <laughs> Survival? Survival. Oh, boy. Or, you know, you could spend a willpower and roll a skill of your choice. Yeah, I'll, I got out of success on the survival. Alright. Uh, so, both of you. Both of you are aware. Uh, you've heard tales of this thing. This is a manticore. Uh, believed to be part steak, part lion, part human, part shark, part porcupine. Um, it is, uh, fairly dangerous, those, uh, those spikes on its tail, um, are poisonous. Uh, they're, they're actually a paralytic. Uh, there's been rumors of manticore cubs, but nobody, no recorded viewing of any until now, apparently. Uh, but... Ryzen, with two successes. Metacores always hunt in mated pairs. Oh shit. <laughs> right, I quickly look around. Um, Desi, where there's one of those things, there's usually two as a mated pair. Uh, both of you can give me scouting rolls. Daddy so. Um ah, shit. Uh 
You guys are so brave. I'm proud of you. <laughs> is that what they call it? Okay. The good you're news is you're brave. Is... I'm stupid, or you're stupid, and I'm stupider for following you. I guess it depends on your perspective. I can actually show a picture of a manticore in the foundry. Ooh. Oh. That's not good. Right. It's uh, creepy well, as hell. They have wings, so this one doesn't have wings. No. Nope. Nope. They do not typically okay. have wings. Crazy D &D eyes, though. At least in first dead D&D, they had wings. So. Yeah. Cool. In D&D, they are flying creatures. Oh, it's uh, got a hooded face and no wings. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Creepy, creepy. Uh, but both of you would see another one moving through the tree line. It looks like it, like it's hunched down low to the ground, um, moving very carefully, cautiously, like kind of like choosing where it places its paws uh, as it's trying to sneak up on you. Although both of you successfully spot it. Um, are we between these two creatures? Uh, kind of. Desi is going to, while watching the one that's trying to sneak up on us, uh, is going to start trying to get from between them. Like, just leave leave him a pure, cl clear path to her and back away slowly. While pushing your friend forward. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not picking him up and carrying him either. All right. Uh, what would Ryzen like to do? I want to follow Desi's lead. Uh, I will get both of you to give me stealth rolls. Oh, Desi doesn't figure she's being stealthy. Desi's just trying to make it clear, like, I am not fighting you, and I am not getting between you and your mate or your kids. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I'm just backing out of the way. We do not need to be involved. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> do that. There's no way to get a manticore cub. So that's manipulation ah. instead. <laughs> All right. uh, what was that, Mark? I'm going to do the same thing. I don't know if because this is likely a monster, if animal handling would help at all. Uh, it is not an animal, uh, but it is animalistic. So I'll, yeah, make an animal handling roll. Like, I mean, it's not technically an animal, but... Um, it's certainly not intelligent, so basically, um, as, as you see Desi start to like kind of back away, you're like, okay, okay, oh, you know, treat it like, you know, uh, treat it like a wild animal. It seems to be acting like a wild animal. So, you know, you kind of like, don't turn your back on it. Don't run. You know, kind of like slowly move out of its way, show that you're not a threat. All of the things that you would do if this thing was like, I don't know, a bear maybe. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yes, you, uh, you and Desi managed to ex extricate yourself from the situation. Okay. Without a baby manticore. There there was a baby manticore there. As far as we could tell. There was two, actually. Oh. See, if everybody was awake, I'd be like, guys. Or if Okatai, if I had brought Okatai with me, we'd have had baby manticores. <laughs> they might still be there when everyone wakes up. That's very true. Or they might clear out because they got a whiff of people. But we'll find uh, out. I mean, yeah, I mean it must not be that out. far. I just went for water. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll wait. 
I mean, Ryzen might decide to wake everybody up, but Desi's content to wait for everyone to I mean, wake up and get back on their own. Chris is finally lost consciousness, so we might as well let him rest. <laughs> yeah. And just yeah. is literally at least, woken up. Or at least fake resting. You know, whatever it is he's doing. Um, yeah, Desi will, like, put something under his head and try to make him somewhat comfortable. You haul him into the tent, toss a blanket over him so he's not out in the elements. Uh, and around about noontime, uh, the, the, the pork, such as it is, is cooked, so there's one ration of food that can be divvied up. Uh, Kaldi can hit his rest button, Trustees can remove the sleepy condition, and Okatai has found enough water to get everybody up to a D12. Fill up your water, everyone. All right, I'm going to what for skill. That's twice the skill is or five times the number, right? Five times. Yeah, okay, never mind. And for like to bump up uh, uh, talent, that's three times, right? Yep. Does that include magic? No, magic is uh, nine times without a teacher. Okay, gotcha. Uh, everybody, everybody is awake. Except trustees. Trustees is still out. Oh, that's right. Trustees is still out. <laughs> so interesting news. Yes. Uh, we accidentally, uh, Ryzen and I, walked up almost to a manticore giving birth. Ah, oh, that's so. A new one. They give birth. Cubs exist. They don't just form full size. And there are two of them, adults. That is. Oh. Yeah. Probably a mated pair. They usually work. They usually go in pairs. So we just backed away slowly. Luckily, uh, I guess. Daddy was more interested in checking the cubs out than us, so we get to live another day. Yay. Unless you know a way to uh, subdue them and want a manticore cub. Could a manticore cub be trained? That's a question for you, not me. Yeah, that's a question for me that I'm asking myself. Yeah, ask Chris. <laughs> Could I try to survival roll to know if that's trainable? <laughs> uh, you have no idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I make a lower survival roll to know if the parents raised their kid or if they just abandoned them? Uh, they probably raise them as much as any other animal does until they're capable of fending for themselves. Yeah, just a few animals are just like, go out and live your life. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'd be curious to go scout to see if they're still there. See what we can learn. I'd feel better about that if I went with you. Yeah. It's good okay. I don't go alone. Yeah, well, I didn't... I mean, it was just me and Ryzen, and I wasn't up to... You know. Uh, Trisha seems to be sleeping for still a while. Yeah, you're just leaving there. Um, their faces? Creepy as hell. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like wild man of the woods staring back at you with these great big eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe when they're cubs, they grow on you, but who the adults are not pleasant. I mean, 
it's always strange when I see like chimeric creation with the face of a wolf. So I guess it's the same thing for you when they have the face of a yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh Yeah. And just picture occasionally Trestius has had a pretty creepy look on his face. This was creepier. It yeah. is it is off putting. I mean, Griffin could be raised from the egg. Maybe Manticore could be raised as Cub. Maybe. Oh, that's your department. <laughs> I don't know how those things work. I mean, eventually, but... Yeah. Oh. Let's, uh, let's check it out, though. Yeah. I can uh, anyway, at least... Anyway, we're not moving till Tressius is back on his feet. Yeah. So. Caldy, are you good staying here and keeping an eye on Tressius, or...? Absolutely. Okay. Maybe your three... Your buddies will come back. Well, it beats uh, Manticore hunting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it probably does. Uh, are Manticore malicious? <laughs> uh, that would be a survival rule. I imagine they would have quite a little game of cat and mouse with you. Uh, they are very territorial. Okay. But not, like, actively evil. <laughs> no. So, who else going looking for manticores? Me no. and Okatai. Is Risen coming with us? Coming with us? Sure. <laughs> Rizzle will probably be the one you'd be able to find him again anyway. He's better at the scouting thing than Desi is for sure. They might have left though, but swear to uh, it's worth a try. Maybe. But I mean you're not gonna find the female more vulnerable than right after giving birth. If they're anything at all like any other creature. Um, so yeah, so you guys follow the the trail back um, and find a find a place, and the manticores are still there. Uh, judging from the, uh, the the piles of like dead tree branches and animal bones and everything that's kind of forming a little nest, this is probably their like their lair, for lack of a better term. The odds of them moving from here are very slim. See what I mean about the faces? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> that that would be unnerving. A little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the cub from where you're standing. Maybe the cubs are cuter. I don't know. It'd be hard pressed to be uglier though. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna, just gonna observe them a bit. Just gonna check how they react. Not sure if we want to just poach them, but so yeah. As you, as you guys watch, you just see like the 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 mother manticore is basically has like is in the process of cleaning cleaning off the the babies. Um, when she kind of like licks them clean, like the tongue is fairly long. Uh, but you guys can see from your vantage point because the sunlight kind of gleams on them um, that the manticores have multiple rows of teeth, much like a shark. Ah! Desi will really grimace, but not make a sound. This would make great hunting partner, but I'm not sure I feel comfortable just poaching them from their mom. She looks fierce. And also probably poisonous. <laughs> I 
I'm yeah. probably happy when they babies get weaned. Their tails are. Yeah, I would imagine, right? Hmm. I'm good just going back if you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. I'm good just going back if you are. Yeah. I mean I've I've got no burning need for a Manticore cup, but I, that'd you'd be great, see it. I also don't want to break their family. Like I'm not gonna kill the mom and the and the father just to steal their kid and raise them as my own. I'd feel bad, honestly. <laughs> But uh, it's nice to see that they do exist. Never seen one in the wild. A manticore cub. Hey, Chris, I want to make sure are both mommy and daddy within sight? Yes, they are. And both babies? Yep. Uh, and actually, I mean, while you guys are watching, and since Ryzen is basically head counting, um, it seems like... like like the, the the mother is like basically cleaning off one of the cubs um, and the other one is you know kind of playing with the father but you see it kind of like flicks its tail and this like projectile like slams into like a little bunny rabbit which then just basically goes like rigid falls to the ground and then the little cub kind of pounces on it like they have some capability like right out of the womb Ah, they are so cute. <laughs> and absolutely deadly. I love that. Weird definition of cute. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We 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 raise very dangerous animals, so yeah. I always like to see the cubs. But yeah, I don't wanna break the family and uh I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to Convince the parent to be cooperative, so <laughs> they, they don't count as animal, eh? Uh, not exactly, no. I mean, for a spell like that allows me to speak to animals. Uh, no, they do not. Yeah, that's what I expected. All right, well, as you guys start to back up, whichever one yep. of you is worst at stealth that can give me a stealth roll. Oh, my stealth is five. Minus One, four. Two. Oh, not it. I I got short legs. I'm plump, and I have no stealth. Oh, but a success. All right. So you guys kind of casually back away from the manticores and leaving them none the wiser as to your presence. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to draw what I saw because the first time I saw manticore cub document a bit that. Right. Uh, and you guys get back to camp. Uh, afternoon passes. The, the wind abates. Uh, as you get into evening, Trustius is finally awake. Hey. <laughs> How many? Welcome to the land of the living. To? One. I mean, we could push this evening to get there and sleep in the village. If we're if sure we can sleep in the village. Yeah, if they let us in. I mean, they'd probably let us in, right? Probably. There's no we're reason charming. not to. If I had a baby manticore with me, maybe they would not. <laughs> but <laughs> as luck would have it, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably for the best. Yeah, I, I would have loved the challenge of raising a 
a creature like that, but I don't want break family. They look happy together. Sure, happy's a word. I don't know if it's a word I'd use, but... They're together and they're a family. That's enough for me. <laughs> Still want to poach some, right, some griffin eggs, though. Right. Um, so, with everybody awake... What are you guys doing for the evening? I mean, we can try to push to Hythe. We'll need to, you know, grab some torches. Actually see where we're going and not lose Caldi in a puddle or something between some roots. Poor Caldi. He could see, but we wouldn't be able to find him. <laughs> He'd just be calling out to your left. No, no, down, down. The other left. Your other left. The other left. You just walked over me. <laughs> what are you, my ex wife? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> so. Are so we? Do you want, us, do you want to push for the village, or are we camping here another night? I think we ought to. Given what we know is in the area, four mandacores and a bear, I feel a little better behind walls. I think. <laughs> oh, and giants! I forgot the giants. Assuming they have walls. Assuming I mean, they have wolves, that's true. The 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 longer I stay around here, the longer I might stumble upon an abandoned uh, manticore cub. So I don't mind, but it might be trouble before long. So we might want to go. <laughs> yeah. Let's find the village. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I, I'm finally I'm finally not pissed about the fact that leaves and uh, rain exist anymore. So. I think it can get us there. Good. All right. So I'm going to need a uh, lead the way roll from uh, somebody. If it's not Caldi, they're at a minus two because of the darkness. So uh, at minus two. I guess it's Caldi then, huh? It would be six for me with, uh, with the minus two. Really? What's lead the way? Scouting or survival? Survival. Survival. So mine is a uh, six without it. So go ahead. And I'm also you probably better than me. That's the scouting, so we don't get ambushed while I do that. <laughs> yeah, somebody else is gonna. Somebody's gonna have to keep watch it as well. And if it's not called, the also at a minus two. Well, I will keep watch then. Okay. Oh. No successes and two banes on the lead the way. Oh, what a lot of sessions. God, I'm just good for nothing today. Damn. One step forward, uh, two steps back. I gotta try to push. Okay. Oh, two damage to wits, no successes. Oh, I'm not getting us there then. Well, it depends what the mishap says. Oh, all right. Um, so, yeah, so you guys travel and travel and travel through the evening. Um, uh, and you, uh, you get to the point where you, you realize, like, Wait a minute. We should be there. You should be there. I've seen that willow tree before. I've seen that willow tree. And you realize that you've been traveling in circles for like five or six hours. Ooh. Ouch. No progress is made this quarter day. Can I smell the way back to the camp so we can just go there and crash? <laughs> 
Uh, you can if you like. You can travel for one more quarter day because people did. Uh, actually, no, some people need to sleep. Uh, so I need a survival roll from Okatai unless you want to spend willpower to activate your hunting senses. Uh, I'm going to spend one willpower to activate hunting sense. Just find a camp back. Perfect. All right. So yeah, after five or six hours of walking in circles in the dark, you're like, wait, that's where we set up our camp. Oh, shit. By which time it is well and truly nighttime. I think we should wait for the sun to rise because I'm not finding the way, sorry. Uh, so nighttime, what would folks like to do? I'll keep on. I'd like to sleep. Bear in mind, there is no camp. Well, sleeping is still better than me just staying awake. Okay. So with a large tent, um, we still need somebody to set it all up, right? Yeah, because like setting up the camp is making sure that the ground is clear and making sure that you've got a fire and the tent is set up and so on and so forth. Okay. So anybody who would like to sleep without a camp uh, has to make an endurance roll. Sorry, what was that, Chris? Um, anybody who wants to sleep with, without setting up a camp first needs to make an endurance roll. I'll work on um, setting up a camp if I can, even though it's dark. Okay. Colding, can I borrow your fur again? Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, and what would Trustius like to do? I just double check it's up real quick. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna push. Cause with that many dice, I, I should have gotten a success. <sighs> I mean, probably slept wrong. Yeah. Maybe I get stung with by a hornet in my sleep. Maybe. Um, kind of Ryzen can give me a uh, survival roll, plus two for the tent. Oh, perfect. Uh, Kaldi can give me a scouting roll. Uh, I already did. Oh, perfect. Uh, and what is Okatai doing tonight? Uh, I'm going to try to sleep. All right. Uh, so that is an endurance roll. And Trestius is going to meditate. Oh, okay. Uh, so Okatai, no successes, two beans. I'm not pushing that. Okay. If I can sleep, did I waste my quarter day, or can I just wake up and go, ah, I can't You know, you try to sleep, but you get no rest. Okay, good. Just check it. Fail the damp. All right. Uh, so, I uh, trust you spend your willpower to meditate. I mean, that heals all damage, so does cost willpower yep eventually you'll need to actually sleep but yeah, we're, we're getting through it it's okay All right. uh morning comes um daylight come and yeah. i want to go home <laughs> Uh, Okatai did not get any sleep Ryzen didn't sleep because he set up the camp Desi did get some sleep Yay Thank you These furs are wonderful Aren't they though Well I imagine they're better for you Because yeah When you get burrowed in there you can't even see you Not even the tips of your ears Like you 
burrow. It's like a womb. <laughs> Ew. All right. Uh, so, morning. Everybody can roll for food and water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. All right. Uh, and with the morning, are you guys going to try to push for the village or are you going to let people get some sleep first? I could do some sleep, but I'm not hurt or anything. If I don't sleep now, I'll be sleepy, I think. Yep. And you do have a, you do have a camp set up now. So why don't you guys sleep? I'll keep watch. And... After that, we leave. And after that, we'll leave. You guys sleep in the morning. We'll travel in the afternoon. And hopefully be there by evening. Uh, as the five unit of meat spoiled? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it has. And they're not usable for the poison. They are not. Okay. Just gonna throw that away from the camp so we don't attract predators in the camp. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, uh, so morning, I guess. Um, Okatai needs to sleep. Ryzen needs to sleep. Kaldi needs to sleep. Uh, Desi is keeping watch. Uh, what would Trustius like to do? Unsupervised. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the biggest thing we need is water. Uh, okay, I uh, just found some, so everybody has a D12. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Um, uh, Chris? That's worse. Uh, yes. Can I just spend one of my unit of food to let it spoil? Like, reduce my dice to put it away for that? Um, so, if you're trying to, like, turn it into poison, um, you actually need death magic to do that? Yeah, but I want, I want to make the rot that... Uh, uh, Chris just need to cast a spell? Uh, trust you. He needs a unit of food to cast a spell. He doesn't need a, a unit of rotten food. Oh, the, ingre oh. the ingredient is rotten food. Oh. So, so could he use one of my unit of food and the rot from the pig? Uh, that he can as use, an ingredient? Yes. Yeah. He, okay. can, he can use the rotten food from the pig as an ingredient, yes. Okay. Was that a ritual, Tresses? I've never actually used it. Uh, uh, all the ingredients. Nope, not a ritual. Oh, so it wouldn't even take your quarterly. So I'll let. So you it, it's basically a unit of food uh, per power level. Okay. You don't want to cast that two eye level because it's it's gonna break your mind. And well, if we if we have rotten food, I can make it power level three ish, pretty safe. And do you want to make a parchment for that before you cast that? You have a quarter day. <laughs> I mean, it fits, right? Yeah, if, I'll spend a quarter. Want... I'll I'll spend a quarter a day trying to, uh, you know, learn how to kill things better. All right. In terrible ways, because. Hmm. Sorry. All right. So that'll be a uh, lore roll. All right, lore roll. Okatai loves his grimoires. I don't use them very uh, very much. Oh myself, yeah. But... I have almost all of my spell in the grimoire. I'll push it. All right. Oh, more wits. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Kaldi, uh, keep an eye open. 
nothing nothing comes near during the day um, everybody gets some sleep uh, afternoon rolls around trust is you you've basically written down the, uh, the instructions into your grimoire so to make it a little bit easier when you decide to cast that spell uh, and everybody is finally ready to try to get to the village finally since it's not a quarter day uh, I'll just give some of my food for you to cast a spell uh, and we can use the rot of the pig so we don't have to carry it around <laughs> If that's okay with you. Yeah, how much food do you want to spend? You said three? It, it's one per power level. So uh, I don't want you to cast it with too much power level because it's going to go out of hand. I so, should be able to save cast it two. Yeah. So let's go with two. And then with the ingredient, save cast one, I guess. Uh, sure. It, it's zero dice, so it won't blow up. We'll see how it goes. Right, power level two, so it's a potency six poison. I, was I don't think I've to... ever done anything close to six damage. It doesn't do six damage. The, the poison rolls six dice, and you roll endurance. Whichever side wins... Um, if the poison wins, it'll do its thing every round until you break. Uh, if you win, then you only take it for one round. Like my spirit, I'm confident is, it would. My spirit is toxicity three. Oh, and just to clarify, Okatai, uh, it's one unit of food to cast. It's not power okay. level based. I'm I'm okay. wrong on that. And what was the the food dice of everyone? Did anybody need food? I'm D8. I'm a, I'm a D8 as well. I'm D10. Yeah, one of the people with a D8 take the food that we managed to cook from the pig to rise. Let's one keep night. Desi fed. We need her fed. I'm back down. I'm back up to D12. <laughs> so I'm fine. Oh, survival right. games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, so you guys finally have your uh, your eyes set on. Uh, Getting to the village, I will need a uh, lead the way roll and a scouting roll. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, I have an axe on my belt that uh, is has some special effect. Did I ever realize that? <laughs> I think so. The axe that the dwarf that was stuck in stone gave me. Oh, that I axe. have a note that. It, I have a note that it's magical, but I don't know. The game finished on that, so and we never yep. came back to it. Yep. You'll have to spend some time playing with it. Okay, I'll do that next time. So, well, I got some successes, but... Oh, and a success on the lead the way. We made it! <laughs> what? Two and a half hours later, we made it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so as uh, as evening starts to uh, starts to descend after you know the the, the better part of the, like an afternoon traveling through the thick woods, you finally start to, it starts to clear out. You start to see signs of civilization, um, small roads, little uh, you know farmlands, farmhouses, that sort of thing. Um, before you uh, you start to uh, arrive to the uh, to this little to this village. Uh, of height, uh, Kaldi, kind of keeping your eye open for anything that might be troublesome or or waylay you in any way, shape, or form. Um, so you're the first one to spot. Um, once you get past the outlying farms and towards the uh, the village itself, which doesn't doesn't necessarily doesn't have like stone walls or anything, but it does have a palisade around it. Uh, a couple of watchtowers here and there, a big ass gate, but hanging on the road leading up to the main gate are uh, gibbets uh, with corpses in them. Fun. Uh, 
Uh, and the ones that you pass, you can see like they, they basically have um, like an inscription upon them. Uh, you can't quite make what it make out what it says because it's above your head, but the the way that it's the way that it's written on these little placards. You know, like whenever you see like a religious quote on a on a statue or everything, it's always kind of like that, like the whole text is centered sort of thing. Um, so it's definitely like it, it's more than just a word or anything. It's like a like a phrase, but you can't see it because you're so short and they're kind of worn. Uh, but you approach the uh, the gates to uh, to the village of Hythe uh, after a long day on the road. Uh, there is like two guards there. They kind of look at you and they like travelers for the night. Travelers for the night. Okay. Keep your weapons sheathed. Don't cause any trouble. You don't happen to That's have any. That's the way we like it. You don't have any sorcerers amongst you, do you? <laughs> I wish. It's been rough out there. Mm, I wouldn't wish sorcerers on anybody. And when he says that he wouldn't wish sorcerers on anybody, he does look at the gibbets. Uh, are they as bad as uh, manticores and giants? Worse trucking with demons oh geez I hope I never meet one then and town council's got a bounty if you know of any if you find any if you kill any bring proof of death you'll be rewarded handsomely how much five gold ahead uh, it's more dangerous than giants I don't know if I want to risk it for just five gold well, you can bring that up with the council. But if you know of any, find any. It's money to be made. I do like money. If you're looking for a tavern, um, we only have the one. I'm sure I can't wait. It's been a long road, long, long time on the road. I, well, Thank you for your hospitality. It's much appreciated. I need a shower. Well, yes, you do. Well, the stew's on. The bath water's probably hot. Uh, and they open the gates and let you into the village. And we will call it there. I bet you love this place, Tressia. Fuck well, this place. I mean, we could just wash uh, Colby and go right through. <laughs> All right. Uh, for XP, participate in the game session. Yes. Uh, travel through at least one hex. Yes. Uh, discover a new adventure site. Yes, you have. Uh, defeat monsters. No. Find treasure. No. Build a function? No. Activate pride? No. You suffer from Avoiding dark secret? The manticore. Avoiding the manticore doesn't count as uh, managing that problem. It doesn't count as defeating it. Oh yeah, makes sense. <laughs> uh, suffer from dark secret? No. Risk your life? No. Extraordinary actions? I don't think any. I don't think so. I think we avoided most everything, right? You did. I mean, in a game like this, that, that's a good idea. Yep. But... <laughs> Honestly, I was really tempted by the Manticore, but I felt it was cruel. Uh, so, yeah. that'll be uh, 3 XP. And for the first time in a long while, you guys are back in something resembling civilization. I might Barely. kill everyone in this town. We'll see. <laughs> so, I... Just I show it out there. I, I didn't plan the, the, the first skill for the for a new class to be nine XP, so I hadn't I, I didn't have the right amount, so I didn't buy the skill yet. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't am... remember it was nine, so I'll just push that next game if that's okay. 
Sure. I am so glad we failed the card tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we wanted to arrive at this, at this city in the middle of the night, though. <laughs> That's it's true. a little creepy here. Must be all the dead bodies hanging around. None of them are moving. That's yet. But they're all sorcerers. Just so wait for it. Is, Just wait a, for it. Was there a goblin there? corpse somewhere in there? Uh, no, there were no goblin corpses. Because I it's, think so, one of them said he did speak with corpse, so... Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tony, this is the first step towards Lichdom, right there on the side of the road. That's right. All right, so I mean, if you're already immortal, why would you want to be a lich? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jakus, that's a good reason. Yeah. All right, so we'll see everybody next week. All righty. Thanks, Chris, as always. Perfect. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. See you in the next one, guys. Have a good night, guys. Good night, guys. Take care.